in fact, uh, there's a couple of very famous people that had this. Arthur Ashe, he had, was diagnosed with AIDS. He took AZT. He is no longer with us. Um, Nureyev, great dancer, he was diagnosed with AIDS, took AZT, is no longer with us. Rock Hudson, he took AZT, he's no longer with us. Okay, And the one thing they said about, the only thing that's magic about AZT is there's no AZT in Magic Johnson. That's the poor taste joke. Okay, Now nobody can tell if he's taken it or if he's not, but what we do know is this. This is the actual label from AZT. Yes, if you've got good eyesight, that is a skull and crossbones. Okay, now the maker of the creator of AZT, Dr. Richard Belts, okay, says AZT was shelved for two reasons. This means taken off the market. Um, my study showed it caused cancer at any dose. I'm sorry, what was that? My study showed it caused cancer at any dose, okay. And it was too toxic even for short-term use. This is the drug given for retroviruses in the entire planet. Now, in 1995, there was a long-term um, uh, federal government study involving 839 children. The children receiving AZT had more rapid rates of disease progression, age-related infection, impaired neurologic development, and death. Okay, now is this drug taken off the market or is it the most popular drug used in Africa and America today? Yeah. Survey says, yeah, it's the most popular drug used. Okay, now here, um, this, there, there's, there's so many comments on AZT, how it's ridiculous. Um, the House of Representatives, uh, considering there's little scientific proof of the exact linkage of HIV and AIDS, is it ethical to prescribe AZT, a toxic chain terminator of DD, DD, DNA, to 150,000 Americans, among them pregnant women and newborn babies? No, it's not ethical. You know, I mean, there, there's no science behind it. Now, um, this is interesting. According to the federal government, um, and this now is today, 2008, AIDS isn't one disease, it's not 48 disease, it's actually a 26-page single-space collection of diseases and conditions under which the, the diseases must occur, test parameters and guidelines. The only one thing that holds this mind-numbing collection of diseases is that they have to be HIV positive. Okay, and we already know how accurate the HIV testing is. Um, uh, yeah. Yet. Now here, some of the quotes, and these, these are people that are actually in the field trying to treat AIDS. No one in Zambia ever dies of AIDS. They'll say it's malaria, fever, or TB. That's absolutely. Um, from the University of Chico, a 1994 report in the Journal of Infectious Disease concluded that HIV tests were useless in Africa where microbes responsible for TB, malaria, leprosy are so pre prevalent that 70% resulted in false positive results. In people whose immune systems are compromised by a wide variety of reasons other than HIV, so they're always going to test positive. Now, this thing, this is the solution. When I tell you that I saw the results of a person carried in at death's door, within a month he was on his feet and helping at the clinic, and this is him 10 years afterwards, healthy and symptom free, is one of the doctors working down there, Christian Faelia. Um, what would actually help Africans is infrastructure development, proper sanitation, safe water, basic medical care, plenty of nutritious food. The simple, it, this is simple, clear, logical. What's astounding is the UN's recommending just the opposite. The treatment that they did to this patient that I saw on Discovery Channel was, you ready? They fed him. They gave him water. That's it. There's no bizarre herb. They gave him food. They gave him water. And his body was able to repair itself, reverse the disease process. So this person says the way to reverse AIDS is development of the infrastructure, safe water, sanitation, plenty of, plentiful nutrition, the UN's recommendation. Okay, now now you've you've heard you know they're they're passing out clean needles, to IV drug users. 
Do you know that IV drug users generally don't share needles and there's no test or study that shows that it's transmitted that way? You know, in Africa, they're passing out condoms. In rural development, they're taking money away, redirecting billions of dollars from health and infrastructure in rural development, putting condoms, safe sex lectures, and pharmaceuticals? When none of this stuff absolutely will help increase the immune system, it's not a sexually transmitted disease. There's a tremendous amount of diseases that are sexually transmitted that will weaken the immune system. But none of those will take the place of sanitation, personal hygiene, fresh water, and food. This is not what already suffering poor people need to be healthy and successful. This is exactly how to propagate death, disease, and poverty. You've got sub-Saharan Africa, which most everybody is ill. 60% of the people are living with dirt floors and cow dung on there, and we're giving them safe sex lectures, condom, and pharmaceutical products? Hi, use these condoms. Please, give us a glass of water. Okay. Now, I mean, it's, the, the solution is obvious. Now, this patient here, I used her a couple of times before, but she had multiple bouts of pneumonia, multiple bouts of bacterial infections. Knowing what you know now, now she's a young, you know, young, cute little girl, okay? If she was in Africa, she would already be diagnosed with AIDS, okay? And she would be given AZT. If she was the, the, ch the child in the inner city of drug addict parents, she's not, thank God, her mom, dad, family, they're freaking gold, okay? But if she was, would she be treated radically different? Radically different, yeah. Now she's, I mean, she's really cute. Okay, just a doll little angel. But this is what normal, that's her neck. And she's recovered from, I think, a cough now without drugs. She's recovered from ear infections without drugs. Her immune system's getting stronger. Within a couple of years, she'll be playing soccer, normal and healthy. <clears throat> this, according to the absolute best experts in the world, to strengthen the immune system and reverse AIDS, this is exactly what they did. Exercise, appropriate diet, fresh water. This is exactly what you require. You need proper nerve supply because this controls everything. You need regular exercise to detox your system. You need proper nutrition. This means if man makes it, don't eat it. This is fresh, free, organic. This is everything essential. Sufficient rest and prayer and meditation. It sounds too simple, doesn't it? But when we see, when, when you see that,